The Secretary for the Department of Veterans Affairs is promising major changes in how we treat veterans and their families. The agency has long faced criticism for failing to adequately serve those who've served the nation. A joint Pentagon-VA study back in 2012 estimated that 22 veterans commit suicide every day. A more recent study seems to lower that number. Secretary David Shulkin recently announced a new program that provides mental health services to all veterans, specifically those those struggling with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, even including veterans who've been other than honorably discharged. We provide care to over 1.6 million veterans every year, and no system is as developed as we are. But we have excluded a group of veterans, about 10 percent or so, who were discharged mostly because of behavioral problems. I'm not talking about veterans that had criminal charges. We're not seeking to provide services to them. But when you often see a veteran on the street who's homeless, it may be as a result of a mental health issue. And not providing them with care to get better uh, is something that I don't think is ethically responsible. Suicide stats, I think, uh, which I mentioned in our introduction, obviously correlate to that. What is your strategy around dealing with what is obviously a horrific number of suicides. This is my highest clinical priority in the VA system. What we know about it is that of the 20 veterans who take their life every day, 14 are not getting care within the VA system. So we have to work with our communities to make sure that we're reaching out to veterans who aren't in a system of care to make sure that they are getting the care that they need.